Welcome to Zen Guidance Tarot and I'm very happy Spirit sent you this way. These readings are for Sun, Moon and Rising and I've been meditating on your energies for the month. I hope the guidance will help you. Please help me build a fantastic channel by hitting the like and subscribe. Um, these readings will not resonate with everyone and perhaps not all aspects of this reading will resonate with you. Parts of the reading may be reversed and timings may vary as we're all on different cycles. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you. If you'd like a more personal reading, see the details in the description box below. Okay, Pisces, let's have a look at your cards. Show me Pisces energy. So we have the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, Thank you. the Tower, four more cards for, thank you. too many there. I'm just going to draw again. Okay. We have the star card. Whoa. <laughs> again too many. Let's go again. Thank you. It seems these wanted to come out as they fell out in the batch earlier. I'm going to draw you one more card, Pisces. Here we go. So Pisces, we have the Queen of Wands to start a very passionate and bold lady. She knows how to manifest and create and get what she wants. And she is very vivacious and passionate about what she does. And it feels to me that this is the embodiment of you in terms of your creativity, in terms of your career. You have something that you're very passionate about. Let's see what you're doing about it. We have the Ace of Cups, which is a brand new start in terms of emotion. This is abundance from the universe. You notice the beautiful heart shape in the center of the cup there. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is the mastery card. It talks about focus, focus on something that brings us pleasure, something that we are uh, good at, something that is innate within us, a skill and a talent. And then we have the tower. The tower is always a little bit scary to see, but I kind of like to see what comes after this. Um, because the tower talks about removing things from our life that uh, will not serve us moving forward. And so whilst we're in the midst of this energy, it's sometimes pretty scary and tumultuous and uh, very stressful. But ultimately, uh, in the long view, the universe seems to know um, what has longevity for us. Then we have the star card, beautiful, a uh, blessing from the universe, a healing, a promise, uh, a wish fulfilled. But the star card is something that um, also projects into the future. It has, um, it, there's, uh, there's time to pass. It's, um, yeah, it's a universal promise for the future. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. Now this lady 
is fairly established. She has some sort of stability, but she has her eyes closed in this card. And although she's holding on to what she has, she's blind to the potential that awaits her on the horizon. And this is called the miser card traditionally because it's about a person holding on to what they have for fear of losing it uh, and then being stuck, not being able to move forward for that fear. I am going to clarify these cards after. Now we have the judgment card. The judgment card is kind of an end of a cycle in a way in that everything that has gone before is being put into the scales and the balance and you are making a judgment call you are making a decision and here we have the king of pentacles when king of pentacles is quite a solid character he's very well established and wise in terms of practical matters and he's very steady um, and self-assured it seems to me, uh, Pisces, that you have some innate skills and talents here that perhaps are not being utilised uh, as they should be. And um, perhaps there is a clearing here for you to uh, heal something within, some, for you to um, perhaps gain some confidence, perhaps have some faith in what is imbued within you and not to be afraid of, of losing the status quo as what you're heading towards um, has some stability, even if you don't see it. I'm going to clarify now. Well, okay, that was far too many, I will go again. my three starters. So we have the five of cups, the page of wands and the justice. I'm going to pull one more card for the top row as we're going. Let's clarify the power for, thank you, Pisces. Okay. So on top of the queen of wands, to clarify the queen of wands, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups talks about um, a certain losses. It talks about um, focusing on that which is lost, that which has not worked, um, rather than looking at what remains, what is strong, what is has a strong foundation. And so it's kind of asking you to put your focus and your energy and your manifestation skills onto that which remains. And then over the Ace of Cups, we have the Page of Wands. There's a, a certain amount of passion coming in here. There's um, a new start or an opportunity here to do with relationships, I feel. Perhaps this person is going to be the catalyst for you to be able to express your individuality and your skills and attributes. I feel as though this... Uh, energy that this energy this person has um, will bring out um, these aspects in you. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles is the Justice card. I really like this energy because it says to me that that, that which you are uh, skilled at, that those talents that you have, what you want to specialise in. Um, is being given in a sense that, that this has been a long time coming and it's due or even overdue. Clarifying the tower I have sorry clarifying the tower I have the five of wands. Fives are always a point of stress in our lives and this battle is something that obviously um, you've been going through trying to filter and work out what is going to remain in your life. The ones I see sometimes, particularly the five of ones, um, as as much as it's stress and it's a battle, I also see the wood. I also see the fact that it, it 
in some cards it kind of forms a ladder it kind of forms material to build upon so it's not always a negative thing the five of wands i'm going to clarify the star card thank you wow okay so i have the ten of cups that's such a beautiful card the be all and end all of abundance and happiness and joy um, definitely this healing is coming towards you the redress for all of the stress that you've gone through and as if to confirm that we have the ten of swords this was one of the cards coming out as I was meditating for you the end of a cycle of toxicity um, it's been quite a journey I think four of pentacles now being clarified Ooh, interesting. Okay, Pisces, we have the moon. Moon card is... The moon casts a very different light to the sun's light. It helps us to see that which is hidden. It um, Sometimes the landscape can appear quite surreal, um, but it definitely highlights things that perhaps have blended in and has appeared ha have appeared as normal. Um, in daily life in the sun's light. The moon actually asks us to filter through that which is hidden within us, uh, to deal with the emotions that often hold us back. We need to find the root of those emotions and um, kind of scream them out in a sense to, uh, to hear them, to have them vented. So coming over the Four of Pentacles, this fear, I think, of moving forward, the fear of loss, um, needs to be worked through. I think this is what this is saying. I'm now clarifying the judgment card. Mm. Judgment indeed. We have the seven of pentacles, which in itself is a judgment about the harvest reaped. So there is a certain amount of dissatisfaction in the um, the bounty that you've reaped so far and you will be looking to move on to acquire more pentacles more solidity clarifying the king of pentacles thank you wow um so we've got two judgment cards now um it certainly says to me that you're looking to create um, with integrity here, that you're looking to uh, sing from your heart in a sense in order to create the foundation that you desire. I'm going to pull you uh, two advice cards now. Wow. Well, okay. One second, Pisces. He's definitely wanted to come out, and I'm afraid you have the tower again, Pisces. Uh, but that tells me that the energy in your life is um, certainly shaking things up. It is determined to shift things out of your life that uh, have made you stuck, basically. And then I have a beautiful card, although it doesn't appear so. It's not very colourful. Um, but it in the no-thingness there is everything in the blackness of a black hole there is potential for everything that you want to create so for me that is um, a blank check in terms of universal energy i'm going to pull you one more card as an outcome pisces oh and there it pops oh and look this was another card coming out while I was shuffling in meditation for you. I do actually have two cards, but I want to look at the Seven of Cups first. The Seven of Cups is about determining that which you want to move forward with. Some of those cups are traps and some of those cups are full of bounty. And so there is a deeper level of discernment here filtering through a little bit like the moon in that you know, you, you can spend some time really delving to the root of um, 
what is involved in these opportunities and possibilities around you. And, and we have the Three of Wands, the lady waiting for her ship to come in. And so I, I get the sense that this is a timing issue, that um, something will reveal itself in, in due course in quite a short time that um, will give you the clarity that you seek. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to leave your reading there. Thank you.